let me begin by going into the uh, what what happened uh, during the last few days before proceeding allow me to again extend our deepest condolences to the family of our soldiers and civilians who perished in the recent C-130 crash in Sulu. We shall always remember our soldiers' deep devotion to duty and willingness to risk their lives for our country and our people. We are also grateful to the local community and individuals who rushed to the crash site and tried to save as many lives as they could. Now, these people in the vicinity or in the area were or uh, mostly Tausogs at uh, Sabiko uh, Salamat naman sa inyong tulong, sukran. Then, uh, we have uh, Pastor Siki Buloy will extend 20,000 pesos cash assistance to the family of the soldiers and civilians who perished in the incident. Mr. Ivan Howe gave 5,000 pesos worth of gift certificates the Yao to the family of those who died and those who were perished. It was, sorry, to see Ivan now is uh, a good friend of mine. A parang not an outright really p uh, philanthropist, but uh, is uh, one uh, Chinese Filipino who has a conscience. Hano thinks and moves and lives like a Filipino, really. Health authorities around the world would have noted that the global pandemic recovery is at risk with the rise of new COVID-19 variants. The emergence of the new COVID-19 variants like Delta and Lambda are truly a cause of concern, and the government closely monitoring our borders across these strains to prevent local transmission. Uh, I, I, I let uh, the experts talk about it. Uh, this is just an overview of everything we are going to take up. Having said that, our best defense is still to be vaccinated as soon as possible. We received more vaccines last week, including more than one million of AstraZeneca as donation by the government of Japan and more than 2 million doses also of AstraZeneca from the COVAX facility. This COVAX facility, I repeat, is a facility of the World Health Organization. And ito yung, it is the body, it is the entity that uh, uh, well, oversees everything and see to it that everybody gets the vaccine. Uh, it has done a good job, uh, and I'd like to congratulate them and thank them for their uh, humanity. I am pleased to know that on July 1, July 11, rather, more than 3 million Filipinos have received the second dose, and with a total of more than 13 million doses so far administered in the country. I reiterate my appeal, please get vaccinated as soon as possible. The life you will be saving is not only your own, but of your loved ones and the people around you. I also appeal to our countrymen to continue observing the health protocols so that we can prevent and avoid the spread of COVID-19. I learned that the World Bank has apologized and has taken down its recent report on the state of student learning uh, outcomes of well-being in the Philippines. Well, I would not want to begrudge uh, World Bank, 
But ito mga uh, international uh, whatever uh, bodies working on uh, the problems of the world should be very careful in their statistics. It is not good to, you know, commit a wrong internationally. Uh, but good as any, uh, we welcome their apology and, of course, that they should, uh, well, in their apology, the World Bank said that they are deeply regret the said report, which I'd advertently published even before the Department of Education had enough chance to provide inputs, and it was an oversight on their part. You know, uh, there was no other time na maganda ang patakbo. Uh, I am an outsider ever since. It's the only time that uh, ito ngayon that I'm closely work with people connected with uh, the functions of government and governance. Na for the longest time, uh, without, uh, you know, hindi sabihin na nandito si uh, Secretary Brunis, but yung pagdala ng uh, Department of Education was uh, nari a, a worry for us. It is being supervised and organized correctly. They also acknowledge, it, ito yung nagpublish, the World Bank, that the education challenges in the country had a long historical context which could not and should not be attributed to any, any single administration. You know, sa totoo lang, uh, mahirap lang talaga kasi tayo. We are third world country, uh, classified as one. Uh, Ang mahirap sa atin is always uh, the, the constraint of money. Kaya kung may pera talaga sana tayo, kung maganda lang ang ating ekonomiya and we're earning just this much, we could have improved on the governance of all departments, all facets of governance. Ang problema nito, wala masyado tayong pera. But what we have is enough to what you see now, that is the only thing that money can afford, na kikakita ninyo ngayon. Kung may pera sana ng marami, then we could have uh, uh, upgrade everything to compete or reach in parity with the other uh, first, uh, you know, first class country. But, uh, we have not been able really to work on our economy. At maganda na sana yung maakyat na tayo. Hindi naman, not a cause for a celebration, but uh, it could uh, sometimes uh, give us the uh, optimism that we will and one day improve on everything. Well, anyway, uh, we will just work on it. I hope that the next administration will be uh, more, more competent than us now, more bright than us now, and more productive than us now. Hindi ako, hindi ako nag ano kung may, may mataas pa sa akin in performance. If it is true, well, I, I would, I would uh, encourage them. I would cheer them up, and I would be on the sidelines, uh, giving inputs of what uh, I can provide uh, for uh, as an advice. Uh, I recommend. Uh, I commend Secretary. Again, Leonor, Secretary Leonor Briones for calling out the World Bank 
on this issue. I hope a more accurate report based on the latest data will be made. I'm sure that the uh, Department of Education is working on a new set of data to be submitted to them so that they can correct their figures and data inputs. On that note, and for the sake of the transparency and policy direction, we would like to know the latest assessment metrics of student performance and achievement, as well as the latest national data and figures in terms of learning outcomes, especially during the pandemic, so we can identify which gaps need to be addressed. I have no doubt that uh, the Department of Education will do everything uh, it can to correct the misconception. And I'm sure that uh, the things that we will provide to them will be the true and accurate uh, situation in the Philippines. Uh, Hindi na nila sinali dito kung sino yung napriso, sinong nagkakaso. But uh, I, this week I signed about two documents terminating uh, uh, sa BIR na naman, pati sa DPWH. And DPWH is safe. Uh, Secretary Villar is working overtime at uh, pinagtatanggal niya at may suggestion na kunin niya yung mga tao na known to be corrupt and incorrigible. Sabi ko sa kanya, ilagay mo na lang muna sa opisina while we will dig into the records to see if they have committed graft and corruption. Ah... Uh, Mga kaibigan ko, kayong maniwala niya, 10 billion mawala. That is the work of... Uh, I have a term for that. It is not mine. I just borrowed it. But I think Pacquiao is punch drunk. Punch drunk. And I leave it up to you. Mayroon man kayong uh, cellphone hanapin ninyo. I think he, he is. To be talking about 10 billion from nowhere. Papayag ba naman ang kuha niya? Natindi lang yan. Papayag ba kami? Papayag ba ang mga sekretary ng mga departamento na papayag na ganun na may mawala? 10 billion. Uh, that is a statement coming from a guy who is punch. Suntokma. Punch drunk. Blessing. Look it up sa ano ninyo. Uh, makita ninyo sa uh, cell phone ninyo. Diyan sa internet.